Cannon County is seeing a COVID surge and a Missouri Western professor has been working closely with city leaders and keeping track of it all since the beginning of the pandemic. We sat down with the COVID case counting chemistry professor to get a clearer picture of where the county stands in the pandemic today. Pretty much can see the trend. It's a big smile. Not that we should be smiling about this. Dr. Gary Clapp, a chemistry professor at Missouri Western State University, has been tracking the ups and downs of COVID since the beginning, breaking down the numbers for city leaders on what they mean. Are we going up? Are we going down? And unfortunately, Clapp says Buchanan County is going up, mirroring what we saw last winter. The numbers we're seeing right now were very close to the highs we were seeing in December and, and uh, November of, of last year. All of a sudden we're back right where we were. We, we have to manage this again. The numbers are concerning because they're it's showing an increase in cases on a daily basis. To put the data in perspective, Clapp says we're averaging 60 cases per day, not far from last winter's average of 80 to 85. The bright side is our hospitalizations aren't what they were. I don't think we're headed that direction yet. Uh, we're at the same numbers approximately that we were when we hit 90s last year, but we've learned a little better on how to treat people who are coming down with it and we're catching it a little bit earlier. Both CLAP and the health department blame the Delta variant and low vaccination rates for the sudden and alarming surge. Last winter it would go up a little bit at a time for a few days or weeks and then it would go up a little bit more where this just kind of spiked up. Things were looking up this spring. Cases were consistently zero and CLAP just about to stop graphing the cases when things took a turn for the worse. I don't need to tell you zero. You know, we don't need to graph that. And suddenly we hit six and then we hit 10 and then we hit 30 all of a sudden. Bang, the numbers would go up the next, like within two weeks, you'll see a spike in that number. Now, as cases inch toward previous pandemic highs, those who know the ins and outs of the numbers say there is a way out of this potential repeat. And it's simple. The rise in hospitalizations, the rise in deaths can be prevented if people would get vaccinated. I don't know what's going on. Well, why are we only at 20 or 21 percent? This is really important and it doesn't change your DNA. It's, 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 an, it's an mRNA vaccine and it doesn't change your DNA. I'm going to implore everyone out there to be careful and, and to do what's right because you don't want grandma to get sick. The county reached its peak of single day cases reported back on December 8th with 142 cases. Monday, the health department reported 130 cases over a three-day period.